In this video, I'm going to go over how to implement selection sort in C. So selection sort is a classic sorting algorithm in computer science, and we could use it to say sort an array of integers in C from the smallest integer to the largest integer. And the way it works is considered a bit simpler compared to some more advanced sorting algorithms. What we basically do is have an unsorted portion of the array on the left-hand side and a sorted portion of the array on the right-hand side and one index at a time we continually identify the smallest element in that remaining unsorted portion of the array, and then we swap it with the element at that current index. So for example, when the algorithm first starts off, the entire array is considered to be unsorted. And we're gonna look at this first index here. And what we're gonna do is find the smallest element in this unsorted portion of the array and swap it with the element at that index. So in this case, we're going to find out that zero is the smallest element in this array. And we're going to swap it with the element at the current position we're looking at. So we'd swap it with five. So after the first step of the algorithm, the array would look like this with zero swap with five. Now at this point, we would say that this portion of the array is sorted and this portion of the array is unsorted. And we look at this index next. And what we do is from here onward, we try to find the minimum number in that portion of the array. We would find that that number is one. So we would swap one with nine, and then we end up with zero, one, and then nine way over here where one used to be. We would then say that this portion of the array is now sorted, and this portion of the array is unsorted. We would then look at this index next, and we would determine that in this remaining portion of the array, two is the next smallest element. We would swap it with seven. We end up with this now, zero, one, two, a seven over here. And then we'd be looking at this index. And from here, we determine that three is the smallest element in the remainder of the array. We'd swap it with six. We end up with zero, one, two, three. And then this would be now the remaining unsorted portion of the array. Now, sometimes it's gonna happen that it just happens to work out that this element here at that index is the smallest element in the unsorted portion of the array already. And that's fine. So we would just not move four because there's no work to do here. Four is already the smallest number in this remaining unsorted portion of the array. And that's fine. And so if we keep applying this algorithm, we're eventually going to end up with the array sorted from smallest to largest integer. So let's actually implement this now in C. And I'm actually going to use this as my test data for my array. So I'll say here int a is equal to, and we'll use exactly that data. And I'm going to make a variable length set to 10 because the array has 10 numbers in it from 0 to 9. Now to actually go through the array one index at a time, I'll use a for loop with an index variable. So I'll say here for int i is equal to 0, i is less than length minus 1, i plus plus. So this loop is gonna go through the array one index at a time. It's gonna actually go up until the second last element. It's not gonna look at the last element of the array. That's why we've got the length minus one here. And the reason why we can do that is because the right-hand portion of the array is always gonna be the unsorted portion of the array. And once the unsorted portion of the array is down to a single element, it's sorted by default. Because an array of one element is always gonna be sorted. There's only one way it can be, right? So it's just sorted by default. Then the next thing we're gonna do is have an inner loop. And that inner loop's responsibility is going to be to find the index of the minimum number in the unsorted portion of the array. So for example, in this step here, this is the index we're currently looking at. And this is the unsorted portion of the array. And the minimum number is one. What we want to find is that number's index. So that way we can take that number and swap it with our current number here. So what we're going to do is start off with the assumption that the number at the current index is the minimum number. As we find any numbers that are smaller, we're going to update the current minimum numbers index. So that's going to look like this. We'll say int min position is equal to i. Start off with the assumption that the minimum number is actually located at the index we're looking at right now. And then we're going to update min position whenever we find a number that's smaller. So we'll say here 4 
int j is equal to i plus one, j is less than length, j plus plus. And if a at j is less than a at min position, we found a smaller number than the current minimum. And we're gonna update min position to reflect that. So we'll say here min position is equal to j. And the reason why we start j off at i plus one is that that's what we wanna look from, right? We've started off with the assumption say that this number here is the minimum. And what we need to check is every number from there onwards. So that's why we start off with i plus one for j. Now, once we've done this, we'll have identified the index of the minimum number in that unsorted portion of the array. And the next thing to do is a swap if it's necessary. So we'll say here, if min position doesn't equal i, perform the swap. And this code here is handling the, is it necessary? Because remember in some cases, like say this step here, where we're looking at this index here, we actually had to perform no swap because four already is the minimum number in that remaining unsorted portion of the array. So there's no swap that needs to occur. So in that case, we just don't need to do anything. But if we do need to do a swap, we're gonna do the classic swap in C with a temporary variable. We'll say int temp is equal to AI, AI is equal to A at min position, and A at min position is equal to temp. So here we use a temporary variable to store AI. We can then overwrite A at I with A at min position, and then we can store into a at min position the value temp, which is the old value of a at position i before we overwrote it. So this will actually then perform the swap. So after we've done all this, this should now sort the array using selection sort. So we'll just print it out just to verify that it is being sorted correctly. We'll say here four int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus, and we'll just do a printout of the array. We'll say printf a at percent %d is equal to percent %d, and we'll output the index, and we'll output the value at that index, just to verify that it's sorted. So we'll compile it, and we'll run it, and we get this. We get the sorted array from smallest to largest integer. And if we did actually want to sort it from largest to smallest, it wouldn't be too bad. We'd really just kind of flip this less than symbol into a greater than symbol, and we'd be finding the max number each time in the unsorted portion of the array. And that would sort the array from largest to smallest then. So this is the selection sort algorithm implemented in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.